Hello guys, welcome back to the Tech Cloud channel and today we are going to discuss about DNS part 2. So before this part 2 we have discussed about DNS, what is DNS, what are the DNS resolvers and how does the DNS works. So now in this part 2 we are going to discuss about the DNS query about the DNS records and about DNS zones. First we are going to discuss about DNS query. So the first query in DNS is recursive query. So this recursive query when a client send a DNS query to server for which the client does not have the information in its local cache means there is a website abc.com here is a client client is trying to access this abc.com and now a query will send to the server so in this case this query will called as recursive query the next one is non recursive query In this query, the client send query to the server for a URL for which it has the information in its local cache. Similar to the recursive, here is a client trying to access the same website. But this time, this client has the information in its local cache. Now this query will send to the server. So what basically client is trying to do, the client is trying to do, trying to verify the URL again. So now this will called as non-recursive. Okay. The third one and the last one is iterative query. Iterative query. So this query when recursive DNS server does not have matching information about the DNS query so it will refer to the other DNS server for the query and now this query is called as iterative query. See let's suppose here is a client trying to access the same website abc.com this request goes to a server let's call it a dns1 this request goes to dns1 now about this abc.com in this case dns server does not have the information matching information of this abc.com so this dns server will refer to some other dns server let's call it as dns2 in this case the query which is sent from dns1 to dns2 server this query will call as iterative query so these are the queries in dns recursive query non recursive query and iterative query now let's move on to the records there are multiple records but commonly and most used records we are going to discuss the first record in dns is a records a records maintain ipv4 records means in a records it only maintain ipv4 information records next one is the very popular 4a records 4a records in 4a records it maintain ipv6 records next we have mx record we have you may have heard about mx record in mx record it maintain email based record email based record now we have also txt record it maintain the txt record text record you can call it as text record 
Now the next BNI we have the most popular C name record. C name record. This C name records maintain the subdomain forwarding records. This is maintain the subdomain forwarding records. Next one we have NS record. NS record maintains DNS entry. These are very popular records. Now the last one we in this video is cert record. Cert record is basically a certificate record. So it is stored. It keeps the records of certificate. This is certificate record. There are many more. Now let's move and discuss about the zones. In basic fundamental, if you talk about the first zone, so the first zone is primary zone. You can call a primary zone a main zone main zone and this zone has read and write privilege. So you can call it as it is a main zone and it has the read write copy of the zone data. All changes are made in primary zone and are replicated to secondary zone. Whatever the changes is being made in the primary zone will be replicated to a zone that will be called as secondary zone. So the next zone we have is secondary zone. You can say also say this is a backup zone. Backup zone but in secondary zone it has only read only data. It has less permission than primary zone it has only read only data. Now the third zone is a stop zone. A stop zone is also similar to secondary zone. You can also call it a backup zone, but it does not have the complete read only privilege. It has some partial information. It has some partial data. That's why we call it stop zone. These two next zone is very interesting zone. So the first is forward lookup zone. This forward lookup zone is responsible for resolving the FQDN fully qualified domain name to IP address and the next and the last one is reverse lookup zone. This zone is responsible for IP to FQDN conversion. That's it for the DNS part 2. So in this part 2 we discuss about the DNS query what are the queries? There are three kinds of query, recursive query, non-recursive query, iterative query. In records, we discuss about A record that maintain IPv4 records, 4A records that maintain IPv6 record, MX record that maintain email records, TXT record that maintain text record, CNAME records that maintain subdomain forwarding records, NS records that maintain DNS entry records, and short record that maintain stored certificate restore. Next we discuss about zones. So we discuss about primary zone. We, you can call it main zone. We discuss about secondary zone. You can call it backup zone. A stop zone has the partial data. Forward lookup zone that primarily convert or resolve fully qualified domain name to IP and reverse zone that convert IP to fully qualified domain name. That's it for DNS part 2. I hope you are able to understand this and if you understand this please like comment and subscribe and share this channel to the everyone. Thank you.